While our skin is often very good at keeping unwanted germs and bacteria away, they can often get into our systems when we touch our eyes, nose or mouth. This is why experts tell us to wash our hands when we touch common surfaces. In this project, we're going to show you how to make your own mechanical hand from cheap materials to allow you to grab and pick up things if you're not quite sure where they've been. During this project, you'll learn about the physics involved and it will hopefully get you thinking about what you can do to minimise the spread of germs. For this challenge, you will need the following items. And a full list of these is available on our website. Let's get started. First, we're going to draw around our hand, wrist and arm using a pen or pencil. Then, we're going to cut out the shape with scissors making sure to cut down the side of each finger so that they can move independently. Cut another piece of card the length of the arm and glue this to the underside. This will add more stability to your arm. Now we're going to decide where the joints will be. Use your own hand as a reference and draw the lines in the same places as your own joints. We are going to use straws to hold our string and create cables which will move our fingers. Cut a one centimetre piece of straw and glue this to the lower joint of your small finger. Now repeat this for each of the other joints, making sure you leave the top joint of each finger free. When you're done, let the glue dry for about five minutes. Next, Cut another straw into four three centimetre lengths and glue them underneath the index, middle, ring and little fingers. In your hand, these bones are called the metacarpals. When done, again, let the glue dry for about five minutes. Now, cut two strips of card two and a half centimetres wide. We will attach these two loops to the arm like this. One at the wrist will give the mechanical hand something to grip against. And the lower one will support your arm, so make sure you can fit your arm through it. Glue this one to the base of the hand, around 10 centimetres from the bottom. Next, take your piece of elastic and glue it around the bottom of the arm. This will ensure the mechanical hand is secured to your own arm. Now cut four pieces of string, each roughly 30 centimetres in length. If you want, you can tie a knot in the string to give the glue something to grip onto. Tie a knot to the top of each piece of string and thread them through the joints of each finger. Once in place, secure the knotted end at the top of each finger using glue. Take your zip ties and create five loops, large enough for your fingers to fit comfortably through. Make sure to not tighten the zip ties around your finger, as we don't want them getting stuck. Tie each zip tie to a piece of string, making sure they reach your fingers when they're outstretched. When you are happy with the length, cut off any excess string. Finally, place your hand through the elastic band and hold the lower cardboard strap with the palm of your hand, making sure the thumb is on the outside. Place the zip ties over each finger and thumb and you're ready to start testing out your new hand. You can find out more about the science behind this invention, step-by-step -step instructions and a quiz to test your knowledge in our accompanying worksheet. And for more hands-on projects to try at home, visit imeki.org forward slash stem at home.